All right, so we're on part two. You ready to go see your babies? Make them comfortable? All right, go see your babies. Go see your babies. There's mom. There's mom. Nikki says, hmm. You might have to back up a little bit. I'm not sure to get her in there when she's, well, I know what. Are you a good girl? I know this is a good girl. Are you out here with your babies? We should have brought you out the first time. Yes, we should have. Wanna get down there and see the babies? I want you to get these two walking. Hey, Nick, 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 Nick. Come here, look at this baby. Look at that baby. There goes there the goes tail. We got one more to get moving. Come here, Nick, Nick, tell this baby it's okay. There, tell that baby it's okay. I know, you guys are like liking this now, aren't you? Nikki says, where'd all this good stuff come from? I don't have toys. I don't have toys in my house. No, no I know. Nikki is our liquor. Drives me nuts. I don't think you can ever stop that tongue. If any chance she gets to stick it in your face, she's gonna lick your face. Oh, get that ant. I hate ants. Yeah, I hate ants. There's that tail. Look at that tail go. Good babies. Yes, good babies. Oh, I'm gonna scratch your tail. Goodness sake. That felt good, didn't it? I know. There we go. We're finally moving. There we go. I know your little tail's going. Yeah. What we'll probably do is put Nikki out in the grass this afternoon and with her babies so they can get grassified. So they haven't been grassified yet. This is the littlest male that was so scared, but you get mom out here and it changes everything. I know we always tell people that they always are really good in with their mom and they play and um, nobody believes us. So <laughs> when we have a, a mom that we know won't come out of the kennel and leave us so we can't get her in the video, we always bring a mom out with them, especially, oh, she says that feels so good. I know. You know what they all love? If you, when we give them a bath, we massage their heads. Oh, I know right there, it feels so good. And they usually will shut their eyes and just stand there and let you do this forever because they love their heads massaged. So when you get them home, if you massage in between their eyes, cause they can't do this, they can't reach that part. Say, says that feels pretty good, mom, don't quit. I know, your babies want you down there, not me. I know, she's a good girl. Come down. There you go. Nikki's been a really, really good dog. Oh, now we have hair all over me, Nick, Nick. I shaved their faces and they were like, okay, you need to come over here and see mom. You're having a moment. Everybody else is like, up. you're really up and moving, aren't you, Munchkin? Macho man, you're a little macho. Macho's a good name. Oh, we always think of these names and then we gotta write them down, call you macho. See, we call you macho. <clears throat> macho man that, what is that song macho macho something macho man I don't remember hi guys I know I see you you're good babies this little one says I refuse to go out there and do anything let me shut my microchipper off <clears throat> I always think it's fun when you can see them with their mom um, there'll be another week go by and she won't want them with her but she'll, there will come a point where she's had it with them this one's out here smelling socks. See, my feet's going. My tail's going, and it's making my feet move. You have to talk this one in. There he's up, maybe. Is he gonna get up? He says, Mom, I need a snack. Nope, he's just standing under there. He says, Mom's safer. No, don't lick me. No lick. I know, but you love to do that, and I hate it. Oh, you got a mosquito. I got him. Oh, I wretched thing. I'll tell you what, mosquitoes have been really bad this year. Where are you going? Are you coming out here in the front to see me? I know, Nikki. I know. She's a good girl. She is so attached to these babies. She will actually, when we put them in the laundry basket to bring them outside, she'll jump in the basket. I know you're a good boy. You're, I never, I thought this little one, the littlest male would be the last one to become <clears throat> active and tail moving. I know, we have got to work on you. You're just scared and it's okay. Oh, this one has a blue eye. Oh, I was wrong. This one has a blue eye. Oh, she says, oh, I love that look. It's okay, it's all right. 
So the eye on my side over here is blue. This one I think is going to be black. I can't tell. It has a little blue in it. It's okay. I know. I know. It's a tough day. Come on, Nick, Nick. Give her kisses. I know. You're going to clean her ears? There. She needs to get up and move. Don't make her potty, Nikki. A lot of people don't realize, <clears throat> and uh, I guess it's a, uh, a gross warning, but mothers eat all their feces and urine when they're little. Uh, that's how she keeps her nest box clean. And in the wild, if she were a wild dog or running loose and had puppies, she would actually dig a hole underneath of something, uh, like an old parked car, an old barn that she could crawl under. Uh, but they'll dig a large hole and um, they'll have their puppies in there. And then they will, they clean up the urine and the feces because that keeps the bacteria out of the area where the puppies live. And she's still cleaning butts and, and cleaning feces. Oh, he got right up and left. And feces and urine. So moms still do that. They're always checking babies' butts to make sure. Boy, you're active now, aren't you? Yeah, I know it. And at least you're looking around. That's a good thing. I know. She says, this is a traumatic day. So you'll be surprised next week when we do their videos, the difference between how she is right now and I'm not going to pet her very much and reward her because I don't want to reward her for other for those ants. I hate ants. When I was a baby, my grandmother put me in a laundry basket to put out laundry. And she looked over and I was swarmed with ants. She had set me on an ant hill and didn't know it. So I still hate ants. Uh, but I lost my whole train of thought when I saw those ants. But anyway, um, oh, she's up. That's an improvement. She will change dramatically, so don't panic that she's going to be backwards or afraid um, because you saw the drastic move that he made. She'll do the same thing. Will it... Get out of here. Will it be... <laughs> will it be today? No, maybe. Maybe not. She's up. That's an improvement. No, no lick. No lick. No lick. I know. I'll rub your face, but don't lick me. I know. Oh, she says right... And dogs love their tail right above their tail scratched. And they love the back of their hip scratch because they can't do that. See, those are all the places you can't reach. And she says, I'll stand here all day while you do that. Oh, she says, that feels so good. Yes, I know your eyes are squinting. All right, I'm done. I'm done. Go walk around. Well, I kind of was hanging on waiting to see if she would maybe change her mind and get up and do something. But everybody else has. And she's thinking about it a little bit just a little bit but she's thinking oh what do you got did you get that in your mouth did you get it I, I didn't think they'd play with anything and they did they haven't seen toys yet if we offered them toys in the building with the mom she would tear them up and take them outside oh we're up and walking tails not moving yet though I want to see that tail wag She's thinking about it. The other thing when they're this age, we really, really try hard not to startle them, not to scare them. There's another ant. Oh. Um, so we move really quietly around them. Um, we don't like to, you know, drop something or, you know, make a banging noise, something that's going to scare them. Because uh, they do have a fear of flight period, and they really have that up until... 12 weeks old so when you get them home especially with the little ones if you have children please run interference with these guys especially the two smallest ones um, you know kids go to run through the house if they accidentally kick them you can break a bone if you put them on the couch and you forget them or you're not paying attention and they decide to jump off you're gonna possibly get hurt um, once they get a little bit more size they, and they learn to jump up on the couch, then you can teach them to jump down by putting a big pillow on the floor and actually encourage them by pushing a little to get them to jump off and hit the pillow. Um, that way they won't have such a fear. But if you have hardwood floors, you need to really watch. Stairways will be something else you're going to want to watch with these guys. And, uh, but yeah, that little guy is really doing good. She's out walking now too. 
tail hasn't started yet, so the brain is still not functioning 100%, but that's a way good improvement. That's a good girl. It's not tucked. That's another improvement. So the tail is not tucked. Are you guys getting worn out? You ready to go back in? Well, I hope you've enjoyed these videos. Um, I don't know why we didn't think about bringing mom out in the beginning. So if you have any questions uh, or you're interested in the chocolate mail, feel free to give me a call. And um, I've got to check pictures. I probably will put one more set of pictures on probably next week. I'll do their six week pictures. And uh, other than that, they're doing great. They're gonna get a bath this week and their toenails trimmed again. I know, we're shorthanded today. Allie is the little um, 14 year old that we have working for us in the summer and she's actually off today. So she'll probably do baths tomorrow for these guys because she really enjoys grooming. She raises, uh, her mom raises um, Aussie doodles and she's also going to start raising big schnoodles for me because I'm not doing the great big ones anymore that get over 30 pounds. Um, and she has, I gave her a 65 pound poodle. I'm getting invaded by ants. And uh, so, she has the big schnoodles. She will probably bring them here and breed them to chaps. So she should have puppies that are going to be in the 28 to 40 pound range with her dogs. Uh, and a couple of her poodles are probably 35 pounds. So she'll have a little bit um, between probably 28 and 35 pound ones also. So those will be coming. I think she's got a couple girls doing heat. And uh, so, but she's gonna, we've had so many requests for bigger schnoodles and we're just not gonna do them anymore. Our biggest dogs are yeah, 26 to 27 pounds. And so we'll raise schnoodles between 23 and, and 30 pounds and then on down into small. So some minis and then some toys. So I hope you have a great week. I hope you have a blessed week. Uh, remember to pass it forward this week. Be careful over the weekend. Be courteous of others. And remember, your dogs are usually mortified of fireworks. So you could, I would put them in the house or crate them in a room that's on the inner part of your home where they can't hear them. More dogs are lost during the 4th of July because of running off. I know our dogs hate it, but we have a few neighbors around here, but not super close that set off fireworks and and none of them, they kind of all disappear in their dog houses when that's going on. So uh, just be aware of that and uh, be respectful of your dog also. So have a great week. Somebody's behind me. What are you doing back here, little man? Macho man. All right, you guys have a great week. I hope you had a, a, enjoyed their videos and we'll talk to you later.